not gonna just lose himself, he's gonna make others lose. You see, when the people يعني, in the fitna, when uh, the Khawarij rebelled against Sayyidina Ali, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Ali eventually won. But the Ummah lost. The Ummah lost in many ways. Eventually they lost Ali himself because those Qurra, those reciters, memorizers of the Quran, they didn't just rebel against Ali, they eventually killed him. We lost, the Ummah lost in losing Ali. And we also lost on those people who memorized the words of the Quran, but the nur of the Quran did not come into their hearts nor in their minds, did not illuminate their ways, their ways. Their hearts were still covered up. The job of the Anbiya, that's why sometimes some people say, how come Ali was so easy? He uh, did not see, he told the, the Khawarij came and told him, you are this, so you are this, so you are this, so all this, almost takfir. Some of them did takfir. And Ali told them three things. Look, Khawarij, huh? Number one, I will never start you with a fight. Lakum alayna thalath. Three things you have from me. I will not start you with a fight. Number two, I will not prevent you from coming to the masajid. Masjid, masajid are under my control. You're always welcome to come. Right? Number three, I will not stop the social services and the state services to come to you. Oh, you, you get if you are help, you're getting help, you get it, you huh, etc. La namnaakum al fay, la nabdaakum al qital, la namnaakum masajidana. How do you do this? Well, oh, Ali did not want to kill them. Ali wants to give them life. Killing them is easy. Reviving people is not easy. Destroying is easy. Fire is amal shaitan. Building is amal ibn Adam. It's easy to destroy. It's difficult to build. Build of the human being is what the Anbiya did. Destroying of the human being is what the shayateen do. For what? 